Cheers, Cheers Dan. It's a great honour to stand here today. You won't be the best man before, I agree. I'm still very nervous doing these speeches, so I apologise for the cards. Before we get on to some embarrassing stories, which I'm sure you're all waiting for, on behalf of the bride and groom, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for spending this most special occasions to sort of celebrate Dan and Heather's wedding. On behalf of the bridesmaids, I'd like to thank Dan for his kind words. I'm sure you all agree that we do what's done in today. I'd also like to thank Dan for picking us, himself, Chris, Dave and Robbo. Well, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> That's wacker and dead. One of our main duties today as best man was to ensure Dan got here. Sober, on time, looking good. Well, two out of three at that. After all, we're definitely not plastic soon. <laughs> Dan has said we, we uh, represent different areas of his life. That's over 30 years of the Four Musketeers, as we've often been called. In and out of each other's lives. From dead to mum's Sunday roasts, to Phyllis and apple pies, and my mum's pink rabbit rebranges. <laughs> <laughs> like we won like we had on my 21st. <laughs> 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 A few years before that, I remember it must have been a summer's day because we were in shorts and t-shirts okay. like the little cuties we were then and still are now. <laughs> <laughs> we were about 10 or 11 riding our bikes down the street where we used to live when we came across a group of older, slightly older girls. We pedalled past them and one girl shouted Hiya Daniel! <laughs> Dan and I came to a screeching halt. We both looked at each other. I said, Dan said, they know me, they know me, all excited. <laughs> After a few moments, it dawned on me. I looked at him and shook my head. I said, mate, I think it might be your t-shirt you've got on. It's got your name in big blue letters. <laughs> We moved up from our bikes to cars. Me, Dan, and Robbo took a camping trip to Black Rock Sands in Dan's beloved, beloved Vauxhall Chevette. <laughs> Me and Robbo went prepared with our sleeping bags. I sorted out the food to last us the week for my dad's show. Three meat potatoes and three pork pies. <laughs> As we were bedding down for the evening, with our pies and a few beers, Dan tells us that he needed to come between us, as if we got in his sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> we only stayed the one night. <laughs> At this stage of the evening, it's normal for the best man to tell the bride a little about the man she's married. Dan can be described as handsome, Witty, intelligent, generous, a great lover, and sorry, I can't read your writing. But seriously, these memories that I've shared with you this evening are just two of many personal memories that stem back years of friendship. From infant school, through scouts and army cadets, and many, many later 
all those years of nights out with them, <laughs> our friends and families. I could go on forever with stories like the ones I've shared with you this evening, but all of them show what a great friend of mine Dan is, and still is, and always will be. So, thank you very much.